For the Fairbanks region, there are two earthquakes of greatest significance, the Salcha quake in 1937 and the Fairbanks quake in 1967. We'll come to the Fairbanks quake soon. The 1937 magnitude 7.3 earthquake occurred near Salcha and features my favorite news pages of the entire collection. We see at the start Fairbanks hit by its worst quake, huge banner headline, damage of $5,000 done to stores but nobody hurt, stories about the earthquake slide, landslide blocking the Richardson Highway, the main road into Fairbanks, and some scientific information as well. But as we look deeper into the other stories, we have local stories about comings and goings of people in town. We have influenza, influenza raging at Hooper Bay in Alaska, kind of a reminder of the uh, disease that were rampant in, in, in these parts and times. And we also see the centerpiece of the national news, hope is still held for lost flyers. It's a story about Amelia Earhart, a pioneering aviator, first across the Atlantic and trying to circumnavigate the world, plane went down in the Pacific Ocean, and at the time this story is kind of placing us firmly in this historical context, household name that people know about, Amelia Earhart, and we have this earthquake occurring at that time. We also see features from the local news almost daily occurring. It's an advertisement, a full page ad for Fairbanks. Come to Fairbanks, a pictorial map of Fairbanks and vicinity. Show them Fairbanks is on the map. They're saying, cut out this picture and send it to your friends, issued by the Fairbanks Chamber of Commerce, 1936. So it's sort of opening up this identifiable growth that came through the town, as it turned out, through World War II development and then the discovery of oil. Fairbanks continued to grow. And the final piece at the bottom of the page, Earthquake Insurance, Alaska Insurance Agency, called John Butrovich, Jr. We saw Butrovich as a high school player in 1929 in the footage, and here he's opportunistically selling earthquake insurance the day after a major earthquake hits the town. Butrovich is the namesake of the statewide University of Alaska building um, just opposite the museum here. A magnitude 7 earthquake in the Fairbanks region would dominate the news for many days. Here is the second and third consecutive day of front page news on the earthquake. We're reminded that not only is there effects from the main shock being documented, but there's also over 100 major and minor tremors recorded. This is keeping people stressed and on their toes. And to me, what's exciting is that this is the first photograph of any earthquake damage. So here we are, 1937, and there's a photographs on the front page showing the landslides that are covering the main highway, the Richardson Highway, coming into town. A view of part of the slide um, at Salcha Bluff, 34 miles southeast of Fairbanks. 